the braking system, uh, they're Nissan calipers on the rear and Toyota calipers on the front. The Vanessa car was progressing. We were running into some technical problems with different uh, types of wavelengths that some of the sensors and the computers would work. So what we ended up with this car being an electric, uh, electronic automatic, uh, being the electric power steering, the ECM for the engine, we ended up having four computers in this car. So we hit them well. If you look, there's very little wiring. I, I wanted the hot rod clean engine bay look and I think we uh, pulled that one off. Uh, and a, again, a lot of people don't realize that there's no wiring on the car. Or AC lines that complicate the material. Uh, and the color I thought was very important to get something that is not common, but would enhance the body lines of the car. So I did uh, decide on a color called Cool Vanilla. It's a Chrysler color. And the interior, uh, I found the, the color splotch and I ordered it in from Florida, along with the uh, tonneau cover and the top material coming in from far, far away. So it fit good. The interior trim, I had to build a whole new transmission cover because the, the, the automatic transmission is quite a bit wider. I had to build a new dash support right from scratch. The shifter is out of a C5 Corvette and I decided on using a short armrest uh, so that it was compact. All the heater now is all electronic. The gauges I run, and I've run for years, I run Dolphin gauges. Uh, and, you know, for the money, they're a really good, they're a really good uh, bang for the buck. The AC and heater box is a, it's out of a uh, old air box. It fits under the dash. I've done two or three of them, and you know, they cool well and you don't get the big ugly vents hanging under the dash and when you got long legs uh, you're not crumping your knees if you hit something. I love the the power steering. It, 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 it makes it so nice at low speed. At high speed with electronic uh, power steering, the faster you go it kind of cancels itself out so you have no power steering. At, you know, three-way speed. Cruise control is nice. Again, you really don't use it until you're on the three ways. The emissions on the engine, actually, when I checked them, over a stock 1974 TR6 is one-third the emissions. One of the problems we have within modern engines is the temperatures they run, like this engine here runs it at 205 degrees as it's running temperature. The fan does not come on until 215. I did put uh, this year going to some national shows. I put 12,000 miles on this car this year. And uh, even after driving it for 10,000 miles and showing it in uh, California, uh, the car still showed well and didn't show too many bruises, so it's, uh, it's very good. I'm open for anyone who's got questions uh, about the car and, you know, if you're deciding to do a build, I really, it is so nice just to put your fingers on the key, turn the key and drive away and not worry about maintenance and be able to cruise down the interstate at 90 miles an hour. That is another nice thing. The power windows uh, I prefer over uh, stock wind-up windows and they're, uh, again, it's a kit we buy from uh, Dolphin Gauges. Uh, 
very reasonably priced. One of the things I do on my TR6s is I use NGB door pulls. You can see how easy it is. And honestly, it's such an easy uh, swap. I did a thing for my computer stuff, GPS, and uh, speed radar detector just plugs in so you don't have the big cords. Uh, I did, on the thing here, I did the early style uh, switches just to fill. And like I said, all the, all the gauges are all electronic, so, you know, they're nice, no cable. What I did in the back also is I, my amp for the stereo is here built a lockable glove box and it's out of the way and you still got all the storage underneath so there's a lot of little things on this that people don't notice but you know it makes it comfort to drive. One of the things uh, that I really like too is I, I bought really good quality headrest speakers and I heated the seats. I really recommend even with stock cars to heat the seats and yes I only drive the car during the summer. When you have heated seats and you're driving a long time when you turn them on it really helps circulation and it makes it you know it makes your drive a lot more comfortable. I do like the Miata seats and I rework the cushions to fit my body on it and it has paid off on it. So. I had Surrey Talks. 30 years ago we would crush the TR4s because they weren't a very popular model. Literally we'd crush them with Surrey Tops on them. Not anymore. Anyone who's gone out to try to buy a Surrey Top you almost got to put a mortgage on your house. I decided to do it on the TR6 just to be different. Uh, I like it driving down the highway, put the windows up, Surrey top on. You really don't get beat up like you do when, with the open the cockpit because this style car basically is a hunk of plywood running down the road. So it makes it really nice. I've been looking for a, a, another Surrey top for my TR4. I'll talk about that in a minute. But I think I'm going to have to buy one out of England, a fiberglass one. And that's Canadian today laid in is about $6,000. So, ouch. My next project I've started is a TR4 that I'm putting a 3500 Chevy in, 5-speed. And it'll be a really plain car. It's just a, going to be a driver. And uh, keep tuned and we'll uh, keep you updated on both Facebook and uh, Messenger on that one. So, and again, if you have any questions, just uh, get a hold of me and I'm 